Completion of Derek Jeter's march to 3,000 hits ranks, to um, ranks among the most unforgettable events John Sterling has witnessed in over three decades on the Yankees broadcast team, many of which are in the Yankeeographies and Yankees classics that he hosts for us. Here's John with Bob Lorenz. All right, thank you. I'm here with the legendary John Sterling. I can call you that. That's okay, right? Sounds great. <laughs> 30, 40 years ago, maybe they weren't ready to call you that, right? When you were doing a variety of sports, but now that you're locked right. into Yankees baseball, you are the legend. Going into your 34th year, by the way, and I wonder about this, John, spring, the season, is always a renewal, right? People get excited. It's starting to get warmer, and it means baseball is back. So people get excited about that. How excited do you get about it? I'm really excited this year. Um, in many ways, I'm still emotionally a child. And I've loved baseball since I was, you know, seven or eight, as well as basketball, hockey, and football. And I think I'm very fortunate. I, I've had this great companion with me all my years. You can add music to that. I've had these two companions with me. So, uh, And if you say, gee, all these years, you know, don't forget the six years with the Braves. Right. So that's 40 years of doing baseball. And I'm as excited as ever. We're obviously airing this on Yes. You've been a part of the network since it started over 20 years ago. And you do Yankees classics. You do Yankeeographies. When you are hosting those, does it take you back and bring those memories back to you of all the games you've seen? Very much so. Uh, yeah, it began, um, well, 20 years ago when Yes began. And we did a whole flock of Yankeeographies. In the Munson... Yankeeography, there's a time where Bobby Mercer is, uh, is on mic and he breaks up. Right. And so I'm sitting in the studio and I break up. Wait, we have to do this again, you know, that kind of thing. So I very much live those moments. Now, now, you obviously have a lot of great moments in terms of your radio career with the Yankees, and part of that. If we go back 30 years from now, that's when you started with Michael Kay on the radio. And we're all curious at yes, what were your first impressions of Michael Kay and how well you might work with him? Well, here's what I did. We, we uh, uh, auditioned a few, a few guys. They had a, I'll tell you what the game was. They had a, it was a game on, I think, Memorial Day. And Mel Hall hit a home run in the ninth inning for the Yankees to win. And that's what what they used to audition. And I said, I know who it should be, but you have to decide, and then I'll tell you if it's the right one. And, and we all picked Michael Kay. 